quick video on the benefits and cost of long run growth. And the first uh, benefit of long run growth is that it can lead to higher income and lower prices. So if you just draw a line to represent the new long run aggregate supply, minus by two, and this will be y1. This is the first equilibrium, and it just increased to this new equilibrium uh, supply. If if uh, we have long run growth, then one of these probably happened. Technology probably was better. Uh, well, probably labor, human capital, or physical capital got better. So pretty much, aggregate supply uh, moved right. It got better. So yes, a two. And this will be the new point, so it can lead to uh, higher income and lower prices. So this was the first, the original price, and this is the new price, uh, which is uh, lower, and we have higher income. Because the equilibrium change from increased from Y1 star to Y2 star. Uh, second, second benefit is it allows for dealing with other issues, uh, environment, uh, poverty are some some of the issues that we can deal with because we have higher income we can afford to care about these expensive issues but then there are some costs as well and uh, the first cost it is it can cause unemployment so if technology uh, gets so much better that we don't need uh, humans and we can replace humans with machines then it can cause unemployment a second cost is that it can harm resources uh, again, this could be related to technology, and lastly, it can harm some other values that uh, people care about, like social values, and uh, for example, well, well, really, I can't really think of, a, think of an example right now, but I'm sure you can think of one, and yeah, just keeping this video short, this is all I'm going to talk about in this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video when we'll talk about diminishing marginal products.